Daniela asked me to give a talk on um, innovation within the life sciences. And I'd like to maybe just start off by giving you a little bit of a background. Um, I got started um, in the innovation space probably about 15 or 20 years ago. Um, I developed some intellectual property and uh, tested on a cadaveric model. And then um, it, was, it was a novel way of placing in um, cervical pedicle screws, believe it or not. And, and it used a laser guided approach. And then um, I protected the IP and then took it around to different companies and got a bunch of rejections and, and then um, finally landed at a, at a company and um, then started working with their engineers and as well as their designers and um, learned a lot from that entire process. Um, and then over the course of the next few years after starting to work with um, the company, then I, I developed um, systems that allowed them to turn their open platform for open surgery platform into a minimally invasive platform. Um, so it, that was really, you know, really, really rewarding. And then I had an opportunity to go and, and um, teach techniques to surgeons. So um, I went to Europe and then Asia and Australia to teach surgeons how to do this percutaneous um, technique. Um, and I think what's happened over the course of the last maybe five or 10 years, the, the market has changed quite a bit where now opportunities for surgeons like us to develop within these large companies are, are fewer and, and far between now. Um, and so we decided to um, start up a, a company based on incubation and innovation, and, and that's IntuitiveX based here in Seattle. So um, our mission is to accelerate global access to breakthrough innovations in the life sciences. Because in reality, um, you know, like products and services that, that are created strictly by physicians or surgeons, they don't typically work out, you know, perfectly. And, and then if, if you've ever seen um, products or services um, designed by an engineer, without the input of surgeons, then it typically tends not to work very well. It tends to be not as user friendly. So you need a team of experts and subject matter experts who, who um, are experts in engineering, in the life sciences, in, in clinical medicine, um, in intellectual property, and just different areas where you can take an idea from concept to commercialization. So um, because of, there's a large barrier to entry as well, um, it, it can also be very difficult for surgeons with ideas to try to commercialize their ideas because it, it does take a team. And it, what I've seen is that um, surgeons with ideas, they have to go to multiple places in order to, to get the, the type of service that they are looking for. For instance, you know, they'll go to an IP firm a law firm in order to get their IP protected. And then you'll go to an engineering firm in order to get your, your prototype made. And you'll need to get that tested and validated amongst other surgeons. Um, and then you'll, you'll need to raise some capital. And, and, you know, truth be told, most surgeons don't have the time or the experience of running a company, like because we're busy as, as surgeons and we're, we've only been trained to be a surgeon. Um, I, I also sort of took that additional step of also going and getting an MBA after training to learn sort of the language of business, um, as well as um, a master's in, in tech, technology innovation. So I think learning these things, you, you recognize that it's really just about the, the understanding the language of business. So... Um, why IntuitiveX? Um, because what, what we've done is to try to bring all the experts under one roof so that you, if you have an idea and it doesn't matter what stage of development your idea is in, it could be um, from concept inception of an idea to commercialization where you've fully vetted it, you've taken it through the FDA, for instance, to make sure that there's, there's safety 
and efficacy built into your product. And then, and then you bring it out and you bring it to marketplace. And typically we, we build a, a team of also business people around that idea in order to actually take it from concept to commercialization. So typically you'll see a, a pipeline um, that looks something like this. And our, our model is sort of like a funnel. And at the top of the funnel, we take all customers, regardless of who they are. So if, you, if you are, you're an individual inventor and you need help protecting the intellectual property, um, two of my partners are experts in, in, in IP protection, including um, Mark Hahn, who's an IP attorney, and Simon Robinson, who's an, an expert in, in bringing together different families of intellectual property and putting them together into a portfolio to, to either get it licensed or acquired. So at the top of the funnel, you know, you can be an individual inventor, you could be a startup company, you can even be a, an enterprise client, um, like a large multinational corporation that's looking to um, tap into the early stage companies, which we have access to. Then um, what we try to do is we try to connect the supply and demand side. So the supply um, of, of, you know, products and services and the demand of people looking for those products and services. And so we try to connect those, those two aspects together. And then, and then finally, um, the next step of that funnel includes a, a closed loop incubation model where after having some time to work with startups, we make a determination of whether or not there's a good fit to bring them in as a portfolio company. And so what we do then is then we take an equity position in, in that company and then help that company get to a successful exit. And thus far, we started about three and a half years ago. We've, we've had about three successful exits thus far, and, um, and including mergers and acquisitions. And so um, what we, we try to do is try to make that timeline from concept to commercialization a little bit more contracted and make it a little bit easier for startups to get through that pipeline efficiently. And then finally, we connect them with investors. Um, I'm also an angel investor and, and a member of the Alliance of Angels, which is based here in Seattle. It's the uh, fourth largest um, angel investment group in the, in the United States. So we, what we try to do is we try to find people that are interested in investing in life science um, opportunities. So essentially, this is our closed loop incubation model where we take an idea and then help protect that idea with even more intellectual property. Um, and also we sort of scour the, um, the, the marketplace for additional IP that could protect that idea. Then, as I mentioned, then we try to create a prototype that we can then test and validate amongst subject matter experts like surgeons, for instance. And we, we, we really try to take that idea and that prototype and then build a company around it. And so you need you know, people that understand um, operations and finance and then can e execute on that business plan um, by also bringing in uh, financing. Um, typically, we, we sort of um, operate within that series seed to about series A. Um, Beyond that, typically that's when a lot of venture capitalists will get involved in these companies. Um, and, then, and then once we have a, a product or service that, that's ready to go, if it requires any type of FDA clearance, then we help take it through FDA. And then, and then finally, we take it to the market and then the market determines whether or not it's a successful product or not. So um, this is sort of a, an example of a deal flow of how we actually um, have access to these type of innovative companies. We do work very closely with many um, universities, including University of Washington, um, Berkeley, UC San Diego, um, University of Chicago, um, Columbia University, as well as other um, corporate partners who have access to intellectual property. We've actually acquired uh, IP from large corporations 
in order to start up companies as well. And then we also have some internal ideas. I would say maybe about a third of our companies uh, started internally. And um, then we help develop that idea and then bring on the people that can actually drive that, that process forward. So this is just an example of, of um, one of our companies. Um, it literally started from, it, it was an idea that was started by um, four neurosurgeons who had an idea to do uh, minimally invasive endoscopic surgery on an outpatient basis. They uh, started in March of 2017. We helped them to start a real company based here in the United States and then um, brought together a, an executive team of experienced uh, business people who've taken companies from concept to commercialization. We um, acquired some assets, including intangible assets, including intellectual property of over 20 plus patent assets. And then our team, our IP team, went out and scoured the um, IP landscape and found additional IP that predated the IP that we had and um, structured a, a licensing agreement from this entity as well in order to make sure that the IP was protected. Then we raised, um, had our first seed round. Um, we were projecting on uh, raising uh, 500K, we oversubscribed to 1.3 million in about two months. Um, then we got FDA approval very rapidly within about, about three to four months. We were able to get this, these, um, these medical devices approved through the FDA through a 510K pathway. And then we uh, went out and raised a series A um, and targeted about 5 million raise and, and oversubscribed to 6 million in about two months. And, and then finally took it to the marketplace and it's, it's done very well. Um, and, and again, this is just an example of a medical device company that rapidly went from concept to commercialization within about two, three years. So this is a list of some of our portfolio companies. And um, admittedly, uh, many of them are in the medical device space, but we do have company um, that's in the biotech space. Altpep is a, is a company that started at, in, at the University of Washington, the Department of Bioengineering. Um, Dr. Val Valerie Daggett is the founder. And you'll hear a lot about this company. Um, they currently have a, both a therapeutic and diagnostic platform for um, Alzheimer's disease, as well as uh, drug-resistant bacterial infections. Um, you'll, you'll hear this soon, but they've developed the most sensitive test for Alzheimer's disease in the world, actually. Um, Amplify Surgical is a medical device company that has a complete solution for um, endoscopic spinal fusion. It's an expandable dual expanding cage. Octa Surgical is a novel uh, company that has a non-fusion um, solution for adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. And that company is led by a, um, a very experienced executive that successfully exited his company um, for $80 million. CarlsMed is a, um, is a first in class uh, medical device company working on a 3D printed solution for uh, patients with um, deformity. Um, Corical Dynamics is a, is a company based in Australia that, that has the, the world's first um, diagnostic intraoperative um, management um, of both uh, sedation and pain. Uh, Circulex is a company working on a smart wearable solution for patients with DBT and prevention of DBT. They recently merged with a company on the East Coast called Canaptic. DigiPrep is a dental um, 3D uh, solution for workflow. NavLab is an interesting company that we, that it really is a, a, an IP company. Um, NavLab started off about three years ago with a, an invention on demand session with a, an IP guru named John Cronin. And that resulted in about a dozen patent assets that, that, were, that were consolidated into about um, 
five or six patent families. And uh, two of those families were successfully exited to, to um, the largest uh, robotics in this, you know, largest robotic spine company in the world. Um, Nova approach spine is, uh, have developed a very novel approach, um, trans umbilical approach to the spine. And Transfer Health is a digital health company that provides price transparency, both in terms of uh, products and services within life sciences. So um, yeah, I'll, 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 I can leave it up, up for some questions if there are any, uh, but otherwise that was sort of a kind of an overview of um, IntuitiveX our life science uh, consultancy and uh, incubator.